Some James Island neighbors say they're hoping the city of Charleston is considering traffic and flooding as they discuss a proposed preschool on Folly Road. The preliminary designs were just approved by the Design Re Review Board tonight. Anna Harris tells us what the city had to say in response. How is that going to affect the, not just the people that back up, but the entire neighborhood? These are the kinds of questions folks in the Queenborough neighborhood are asking about a proposed site for a new Goddard preschool on Folly Road, which will sit directly behind Matthew Pertusit's home. He says he's worried about the design of this building's drainage because when it storms, we're already holding water. So for that to come up even more, I'm, I'm not sure. So it's a huge concern. But the city of Charleston says because they have some of the most comprehensive stormwater regulations in the region, no project could make the problem worse, only improve it. They say the planning team is We're working very hard to make sure that they are utilizing the existing wetlands on site and enhancing that as a stormwater catchment area. But that's not the only concern. If it is going to be a pickup, you know, we're right here on Folly Road. How does that look um, during rush hour traffic in the mornings and afternoons? You know, is it going to get pushed into our neighborhood for us to deal with or is it going to just come to a stop on Folly Road? They have created a drop off flow space so that pro that cars as they come in to drop their children off or pick them up will actually flow through the site so that there's a queuing situation that will occur so people aren't ideally not queuing out on it on folly. The Goddard School nor the applicant have responded for any requests for comment. However, Pertusit says no matter what comes on this property, he just wants the city to be thorough with their plans. It is something that the community needs. You know, I think James Allen could afford to have another uh, yeah, preschool. Now, Summerfield says it will talk more about drainage once the developer submits more to the technical review committee. Now, they do have to pass all initial design phases first, and there's no timeline of when that might happen just yet. On James Island, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.